When you're exploring the outdoors, it's important to know the difference between a native species and a non-native species. A native species has always been here. It's a natural part of this ecosystem. It has been, or has historically been, part of where we are right now. A non-native species has been brought in from somewhere else. And non-native species can have a really negative impact on native species. And today we're actually gonna talk about a non-native species that's so familiar and so ubiquitous or everywhere that it seems like it's been here forever. Today on Nature Sparks, the fox squirrel. Fox squirrels are a large tree squirrel that can be between 17 and 27 inches long, including the tail, and weigh between one and two pounds. They have an orange underbelly and brownish gray coat. Fox squirrels are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Here in Oregon, you'll often see them tearing the scales off of a fir cone or a pine cone and eating the seeds out of that. But they also eat moths, beetles, birds, eggs, tubers like carrots or beets, and lots of other things. You'll often see them nibbling on the fresh shoots of trees. The western gray squirrel is native to Oregon and has gray fur with white tips on the end that give it a silvery appearance. Its belly is white. In Oregon, it's considered a sensitive species because they're declining in numbers, largely due to competitive species like the fox squirrel and also loss of habitat. The Douglas squirrel is also native to Oregon and it can look like the fox squirrel, but it's much smaller. This tiny squirrel can also be identified by the distinctive white ring around its eyes. So when we're talking about native species, we'll use three different terms. Native, it is or has historically been part of an ecosystem. Non-native, it's been introduced to an ecosystem from somewhere else, but it can have no impact at all or even a benefit to the ecosystem. And then there's invasive, and an invasive species is non-native, and it negatively impacts a native ecosystem. You may be wondering, what are the negative impacts of invasive species? The biggest reasons are that they compete with native species for food, for habitat, and some non-native species actually eat the young of native species. Not so good. The fox squirrel is always trying to get into my bird feeders. And so I've developed a few tactics for trying to make my bird feeders for birds. One of them is using a wire. This wire right here, it looks invisible to the squirrels. They can't see it. Here's another example. By attaching the feeder to a thin metal wire, a squirrel thinks about jumping on it and then realizes that that bird feeder might be floating in thin air. And they think twice about it. Sometimes a couple squirrels go for it, but it never ends well. underestimate the entertainment value of the fox squirrel. No matter your feelings about the fox squirrel, they do add entertainment to your day. 
and add to your collection of fun, fuzzy friends that come visit in the yard. Thanks for joining us on Nature Sparks. Take good care. We'll see you soon.